Hello. So, we're in Blender. So, I've um, been looking on the internet trying to find some interesting videos about how the heck you use Grease Pencil. Um, so, here we go. Because I, I, I haven't found any. So, uh, well, I have found some, but they're pretty rubbish. They give you hints, but they don't really like solve a few uh, questions like, how the heck do you use these things? Like, I haven't seen anybody using um, these particular items, and no one's gone into the point of like how do you do a little animation and how do you have blah 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 let's just get on with it so what I've got here um, if I use my uh, arrow keys you can see that I've got um, a poorly drawn and animated sort of car thing going in front of a building okay so um, grease pencil then so here we go what we have over here are layers. So let's switch them all off and switch them all on by. Um, so let's look at the first layer. So first layer is just a basic drawing. No, I believe this is true. Um, it looks like it's true as of as of current uh, version of Blender, which is I've got 2.77 uh, release candidate one or two. I can't remember now. Anyway, so um, per layer. In Grease Pencil, you get to choose a colour. So you can't have multiple colours um, on the canvas per layer. It's You choose a colour, that is your colour for that layer. So I've quickly drawn a very interesting sort of building, vague, um, not messing around here. And then to colour it in, you need another layer. So a bit like Photoshop, another layer, that gives you the uh, colour for the house. And you have a maximum size of 10 pixels to um, to make your brush stroke you can do polygon way of doing it I've not gone into that yet my my sort of thing I'm trying to find is how do you animate anything and how do you change the thickness and the smoothing and all that shenanigans so we have a basic background is what I'm trying to say here which is built out of two layers which you can name which I haven't named and then on this layer here layer 3 I have um, let me go back I have my little car that's going along Okay, and what I want to do, um, so what, what I've done here, is I, um, I've drawn a car and then I've basically transformed it every so many frames. And I've got onion skinning switching switched off currently, but I'll switch it on. I am waffling a little bit, but, you know, it's free. Um, so, my questions were, how the heck do you use these things? Because no one, no, I'm pointing with my fingers. <laughs> how the heck do I use these things? Because... There's nothing, no video that I've found so that goes to the, oh, this is how you use these things. They'll tell you how to sort of do a basic drawing and whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, but they don't tell you how to do smoothing and basically um, changing the thickness and whatever, and whatever, and whatever. And no one goes into the translate item either. So let's just go ahead and do that. So all I want to do really is make a new frame here. So let's move our little car along. I want to see where it was and where it's going to be. So let's go and do that. So let's switch on uh, onion skinning. So I've got this layer selected here, which you know we could sort of rename car, make it more sensible, wouldn't it? And I want to switch on onion skinning. Bada bing, bada boom. So that's where it was uh, previous keyframe, basically. And I can say how many frames in front and behind I can look. So let's look. So let's like look ten. There we go. So you can sort of see where it's going. So I'm going to go another, what, five frames? One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm on 50. So I basically want to be about that far away. So I want um, the front end and the bumper to be where it's going to be. So I'm on this car layer. It is unlocked, so I can do things with it. I'm going to go over to... Uh, let's go and select all. Or we'll do border select. Okay, I'm going to border select all of this particular item here. I've gone five frames forward, remember? So I know I want to go. And then I'm going to go and translate it. Then I can go and translate it. And we'll put it sort of there. Let's put it there. So that's, there we go. So that's, we've just animated it. How exciting is that? And you'll notice up on the dope sheet here, which I've got set to grease pencil. So it's however it usually is when you first load it. It's set to dope sheet. Dope sheet. Dope, can't even speak this morning. Dope sheet. And we're going to select a degrees pencil. And uh, there we go. So bang. So now we can see what's happening. So, yeah. 
So that gets us to do animation with a translation and we basically grab everything and translate it. And then we can uh, then I'll just go border select and just select nothing. Uh, I don't do that. Undo that. And how do we get out of this? This is a good question. How do we get out of selection? Uh, we can just go to draw, can we? Control Z. I'd like to not select something. There we go. Right, so not selected anything. Okay, so th the next thing I need to do. I am still learning this is how do I use any of these things down here so I've got these smooth and grab and push and twist and pinch and blah 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 how do I use them because if I just press them nothing it doesn't seem doesn't work I just grabs the point and pulls it around it's not what I'm looking for is it I'm looking to how to smooth this line out and it's not doing it so I'll control Z it so we've got that um, selected there and basically click off it what you need to do is uh, Go down to the bottom here, go grease pencil, and we're going to go sculpt strokes. Okay, and now we can go in here and smooth stuff out. So I can go along here. Now I'm smoothing things out, and it's not based on your selection. Okay, so I can also go to um, push. So on it. you can only do one thing at a time. Um, so yeah, so let's go and do that. So let's go back. So I've got this. You can see I've got it's not really drawing very well here, but. Let's go and select, let's hit escape to get that out. And then, um, so we're on edit strokes. And then I want to go again to sculpt. So I've got shift S as my shortcut. So if I want to go shift S, I want to go and do push. So shift S, I can now push these around a bit. Yeah. And I can also push these around a bit. So I can sort of bring these down there and push them in there. I can go back a few frames and do that again. So I can sort of play around with things here. Yeah. And then go here. Sort of do that. Go here and do that. So you can see things will change over time. So what's happening is you select this, but there's no interface in here to say, oh, can we go and do that? You need to go. You got, you got the, it's a bit odd. You got how how big a thing I mean, escape how big a radius you want to play with and all the rest of it and uh, that's hereish I think or was it one of these guys so yeah it's a bit odd isn't it so you have to go to grease pencil and sculpt strokes sculpt brush and you you choose what you're playing with so we say I want to do smooth now grease pencil sculpt strokes I want to smooth these guys out. So, Shift S. Yeah, and that does that. Or I can just uh, escape to drop it, I think. And we can do, um, let's do push again. And Shift S. So I can push things around. Yeah, and that's how that works. It's a bit weird. And this is not. A really good way of demonstrating it. Also, so what I've got here, I've got a, I've added a keyframe at the wrong point. I want to get rid of it. So um, we've got your dope sheet at the top. I can let's kill that. Let's go to the top and we'll hit uh, B for box select and we'll select these two keyframes. Hit delete. Hit delete and go delete keyframes. That's got rid of that. And same with 40. I've got some rubbish going on at 40. We that didn't want to know, did it? So 35, 38, 40, oh, 38 I don't want, there we go. So here we go, let's get rid of them. So B for box, get rid, delete, delete keyframes. And also 42, box select, B for box select, hit delete, delete keyframes, there we go. Right, so now we can lock that particular item up and Switch your onion skin off and go back and hit play, which is N for play. And there you go, that's how to get animating working. This is just for me, nobody else won't help for anybody else, but blah 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 blah. End to stop. 
if you're looking to if you're wondering um oh if you got it locked by the way it takes your interface out if you are not noticed so um if you're wondering how to set keyframe uh set shortcuts um if you've got these buttons too small you can't set a shortcut it won't let you do it you know, just change shortcut so sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't i found that if you make uh, it big it'll be more uh it's more prone to working the bigger it is there's obviously some sort of area that it picks up on um, i had it a while ago where it was sort of like that big and i couldn't get the erase one to change its shortcut uh, and i got it set to f for um erasing and I got D, so D and F are next to each other. So D for drawing, F for erasing. I do want to get rid of my, I didn't want to alter my QWERTY keys because I got this set to being um, sort of Studio Max. So a bit of a mixed bag and a bit of a rubbish video from me, to be honest. But it's sort of, hopefully it helps a little bit. <laughs> if not, it'll just help me. There you go. Right. Uh, see you in a bit. Bye.